Hey guys, welcome back to part 7 of the Kotlin tutorial. So in the last video we learned about a lot of different operators and a few things we have to watch out for, like how the different combinations of types influence the result of an expression or how different variations of the same operator behave. And it's a good idea to play around with this a bit to get the hang of it, but as you already noticed, writing out print line every time you want to try out an expression can be really tedious. And another problem is that the bigger a project gets, the longer it will take to uh, compile it. This means testing out small pieces of code will become more and more inconvenient. And for this reason Kotlin provides a useful tool to try out small code snippets more quickly and more easily. And we can access this tool directly from within IntelliJ IDEA. For this we go up here to Tools, Kotlin, and then we go to Kotlin REPL. This is also available in Android Studio and it should be at the same place. And when we click this, it opens up a window at the bottom. And REPL stands for Read, Eval, Print, Loop. Because it reads our input, evaluates it immediately, prints the result, and then it waits for new input. And this way we can try out small pieces of code, like our different operators, much more quickly and without always having to run the whole project. We confirm our input by pressing Ctrl Enter on Windows or Command Enter on Mac. Alternatively, we can click this Run button here. And as you can see, it also shows the type of the expression. So a normal calculation will evaluate to an int, but when we type in 1.0 plus 1, we get the double, as we already know. But we can not only type expressions in here. We can also, for example, declare variables and then use them or write any other statement. So try out the different operators we have learned about, but remember that not all of them are expressions. So our compound assignment operator here, as we already know, doesn't return a value, but we can now print out the value of x, which gives us the result of this assignment. Of course you can also make this window bigger, and if it becomes too full, then you can right click anywhere on this lined part, and click on clear all, to make it empty again. And we can even access our project code in here and call functions. So we can for example call print the usual way and as you can see we even have auto completion. This will just execute this function and print out the input. We can also call our own functions, like our main function for example, which just executes all the statements in it. And when you started the rebel there might have been a message that said you're running the rebel with outdated classes. This means that you have made changes to your project and didn't compile it afterwards, so this new code is not accessible from within the REPL. If this is the case, you can click on the text next to it that says build a module and restart, or on this button here which does the same. It recompiles the project and restarts the REPL, but this is only necessary if you want to use code from your project. It's not necessary for our simple expressions like 1 plus 1. And we can even declare whole functions in here. We can write over multiple lines the usual way and then we can let this execute something and then we can call this function. And then we can run it again. And when we are done we click the close button here to create the REPL. And your homework is to try out the different operators from the previous video and all the other stuff we learned so far. Play around with it a bit because the quick feedback loop really helps with learning. And when we learn new stuff in the future parts, it's a good idea to play around with this in the REPL as well. If this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming parts of the Kotlin tutorial. Take care.